Ghana Premier League side Accra Great Olympics hosted Dreams FC on Thursday at the Mangan Town Park in a pre-season friendly. With the new Ghana Premier League season set to start next week, fans will really return to the park to watch the game. The Olympics began the game on the good note, missing a couple of chances in the game. Captain Gladson Awako poorly effected this free kick from 20 yards. Dream says you were warming up into the game, whilst Olympics kept probing and probing and finally got a goal. Philip Saki, Michel Lotu, Glass Nawako, all beautiful. Yeah, the boy near Conti, Tiaso, no Mudasiru, Mudasiru, Banan, what's a logo? A logo. Manan Mudasiru scored a long ranger to give Olympics an early lead. The still believed lads woke up from their slumber and began things running. A brilliant pass from one of the Dreamsters' midfielders, but his teammates couldn't pick it up. Jalilu got the equalizer for Dreamsters through this free kick, which was crumbled, but never mind. The first attempt hit the crossbar, then Jalilu headed home the equalizer. The Olympics nearly restored their lead minutes later, but Mudasiu missed this opportunity. Olympics winger doing the most on the flanks, winning the ball, and also going on the run, but he was brought down by his opponent. Drew says he had two opportunities here, but it all was to no avail as striker Ibel Manome was marked offside in the second attempt. A beautiful string of passes from Dream Sessi saw them score their second goal in the game as Ejenin Boatin scored a beautiful goal after a combination of passes with his teammates. Ejenin Boatin was well positioned for this goal and finished it off beautifully. Uh, Olympics uh, right back uh, Saki uh, nearly uh, scored a nice uh, goal from uh, here. Two uh, uh, nearly doubled their lead but their attacker couldn't finish off this crossing. The first half ended 2-1 in favour of Dream Sessi and they defended their lead till the end of the game. A nice back heel pass from this Olympic number 7 player, but his teammate wearing the number 14 couldn't capitalize on it. Again, Olympics were unfortunate with this attempt. It seems they didn't have any goal. Dream says you were awarded a free kick from here and the technique in taking the free kick was superb but Olympics goalkeeper was quick to deny them from scoring their third goal in the game. Olympics kept swinging in the crossing but they forgot that they didn't have any Peter Crouch in their team to head in the ball. This was arguably one of Olympics best chances in the game but yet again they couldn't score as Junsesi's goalkeeper came forward to deny Olympics from equalizing. In a tussle for the ball, a Junsesi player was fired on Olympics were not happy with the referee's decision as they felt they rather deserved the free kick dying minutes of the game. <laughs>